to Reading on the Rock. Hello, my friends. I'm Reverend Ann Kemper, and welcome to Reading on the Rock for Children here at Covenant United Methodist Church in Rochester, New York. Now, for you parents or grandparents or adult who's helping your child access Reading on the Rock, thank you. This series of books is about sharing God's love and care, only it's with a twist. Because at Covenant, we believe that the church should be a safe place to ask questions and read stories that challenge us. Tonight's story deals with acceptance and how people fit in. I hope you enjoy this story. Hi, my name is Joyce Duckles. I'm an Associate Professor of Human Development at Warner School of Education and Human Development at University of Rochester. I am part of the board and leadership team of Freedom Scholars Learning Center, and it's wonderful to be in Covenant and part of this wonderful community who welcomes our children and our families every summer. Today I'm going to be reading a book called My Shadow is Purple, written and illustrated by Scott Stewart, and the publisher is Larry Kim House. My Shadow is Purple, written and illustrated by Scott Stewart. My dad has a shadow that's blue as a berry, and my mom's is as pink as a blossoming cherry. There's only those choices, a two or a one, but mine is quite different. It's both, and it's none. If there are straight, then mine is a circle, for my shadow's different. My shadow is purple. My shadow loves playing with all sorts of toys, things loved by girls and things loved by boys. I dance with the pinks as they turn and they spin and play sport with the blues as they lose and they win. Some of my friends think I'm simply confused that the thing I love most is not having to choose. Some tell me I'm blue, only blue can be strong, but my mom's strong too, so I think they're wrong. Some tell me I'm pink, because pink is the most caring, but dad's always crying and loving and sharing. Why can't I love sport and dancing and trains and ponies and glitter and engines and planes? Why must I choose and exclude all the rest? I love choosing both, because both is the best. And now it is time for the greatest event. The school dance is here. The invite's been sent. I'm ready to rock and I'm feeling cute. My mom ma made my skirt and my dad made my suit. I bounce through the door and gasp as I enter. The room split in two, right down the center. Blue shadows go left and pink shadows go right. Once we're split up, we'll kickstart this night. Everyone laughs as they head to their zones, and right in the middle, I'm left all alone. I look to the left where the shadows are blue. They wave me over saying, you are blue too. Then I look to the right as I struggle to think, they call me over, come on, you are pink. The teacher walks up looking rather amused. I know you are different, but now you must choose. My heart just starts racing and tears fill my eyes. I know I must choose, but I don't understand why. The room has gone quiet and everyone's looking. My cheeks are so red, they feel like they're cooking. If I cannot be purple, then I cannot stay. I'll leave and go home, I quietly say. I slowly start walking, my legs are like jello. A voice breaks the silence. My shadow is yellow. My eyes open wide, my shadow it gawks. A child walks to the middle, looks up and talks. There's more than two colors our shadows can be. I was too scared before, but blue is not me. I know from outside blue fits like a glove, but my shadow is yellow, which to me feels like love. They turn with a smile and they take hold of my hand. Who wants to join us? There's room here to stand. At first, no one moves, then a hand's in the air. My shadow's as brown as a big grizzly bear. My shadow is red. Mine's silver, mine's green, mine's violet, mine's orange, mine's aquamarine. 
They all rush to join us, whatever their color, blue, pink, and purple, and shadows called other. I look at each shadow, no two are the same. On each happy face, there's no trace of shame. Each different and special and fully unique. No colors stronger and no colors weak. The teacher comes over and we're joined as one. Whatever your color, start dancing, have fun. So I selected this book because so many times in our world we're told we have to be either pink or blue, either one or two. And as this child says, why do we have to choose? There's so much complexity in each one of us, so much beauty and uniqueness in every one of us. So getting rid of the ones or twos, the pinks or the blues, and being able just to be us, as this little boy says, being having a shadow as yellow is love. And that's why I think this book is valuable. The story, My Shadow is Purple, challenges us to see and accept people as they are. And in this story, we learn how God creates everyone to be unique and yet loves us all as individuals. Have you ever felt like an outsider or someone who wasn't welcome? Here at Covenant, we believe everyone is welcome here. Let us pray. Thank you, God, for showing us how to love and care for one another and help us to show our love by honoring everyone's shadow color. Amen. Thank you for joining us for Reading on the Rock. Good night. Reading on the Rock is presented by Covenant United Methodist Church in Rochester, New York. If you like Reading on the Rock, please give a donation on our website, covenantroc.org.